Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be starting off with my eyebrows done and my eyelids primed. Going into my Morphe 35P palette, I'm going to be taking the second purple shade from the top and I'm going to be using it on a fluffy brush in my crease as my transition shade. I'm just going to be buffing that back and forth in windshield wiper motions because I really want it to be blown out in the crease and not so concentrated. shader brush I'm going in with my Carly Bible Deluxe palette and I'm going to be taking the first highlighting shade and applying that to my lid as my eyeshadow. And I'm just making sure I'm going back in with that fluffy brush and blending out my crease some more. Okay so now I already have my foundation concealer and powder and bronzer and contour done. I'm going to be going in with my BH Cosmetics Glamorous Blush Palette and I'm going to be taking the purple shade and be applying that onto my cheeks. Now going with my wet and wild apricot in the middle brush, I'm going to be going on top of the purple blush that we just applied and applying that as a blush topper to give it a glow. Alright, and now for highlight, I'm taking my e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip in Peach Fuzz, like I always do, and applying that as my base for my highlight on my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, and above my brow bone. And now for my actual highlight, I'm going to be going in with my Wet n Wild Precious Petals highlighter and applying that right on top of the e.l.f. base. Alright, and now I'm just going to be setting my face and I'm going to let that dry for a bit and just before it's completely dry I'll be going in with a little bit of more highlighter. Alright, and now back to the eyes. I'm going into that Morphe 35P palette and taking the same crease shade that we use. And I'm just going to be applying just a little bit more of that in the crease. And then I'm going to be going back into the Carly Bible palette and taking the highlight shade that I used for my lids. I'm going to be wetting that on a brush and applying more to make it more intense. You see how wetting that shade makes it so much brighter and icier? That's what I was going for for this look. I wanted the eyes to be really icy with some lavender in the crease and a pop of purple for the lower lash line, which we'll get to in a minute. Now back into that Morphe 35P palette, I'm going to be taking the purple shade that I just showed you onto a pencil brush and I'm going to be running that along my lower lash line.
And here I'm just taking the highlight shade from the Carly Bible palette and applying that under my brow bone for my highlight. And it was just a little bit too intense, so I had to dab over it with my finger. And I'm also going to be applying it in my inner corner as well. But I'm going to be taking a lavender shade from the 35P palette that I forgot to show, but I'm pretty sure it's the first color. And I'm going to go right over that to give it a more purple look. Alright, and now I'm just curling and applying mascara to my lashes. I'm using my same Maybelline Curvitude Mascara. And then for lashes, I'm going to be using my Salon Perfect um, 614 lashes with my Lish, Lish my, my Kiss Lash Adhesive. And while my lashes dry, I'm going to be going with my lip liner and lining my lips. Alright, and now for lips, I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippy in Guess. Alright guys, so that's the final look that I came up with. It turned out pretty much how I wanted it to, and I hope you guys liked it and can take some inspiration from it. Um, and I hope you guys subscribe, like, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!